When it comes to getting information from your database quickly, you do have the auto filter. If you've looked at that video, that's a great resource for Excel. Another resource is the advanced filter. For example, you see we got a list of houses here for sale, and let's say that a client comes in and says that they would like, well, a three bedroom home under $175,000. My database is a small database and I can scroll down and easily find it. But if your database is big and it's not as organized in that you'd have to sort your columns to find exactly what you're looking for, that can be a little hectic. Instead, we can set up an advanced filter. To do that, we've got our database here. Next, we need to set up our criteria range, meaning I'm going to select the exact same headers that I have for my database and control C to copy them and then go over here somewhere and click in a blank cell and control V to paste those headers. I'll hit the escape key to get rid of these marching ants. And so when I set up my criteria and say over here they want three bedrooms and also they want the list price under $175,000, then what it does is it takes this label header for the criteria bedrooms and it comes over here and matches it on the bedrooms header for the database and then it searches through for the three bedrooms. Once I have my database set up and also the criteria over here, I can go ahead and use Excel's advanced filter. Click anywhere in the database, go under the data menu, down to filter, and then over and down to advanced filter. Automatically it selects my database because my database has logic to it that Excel can recognize as a database, for example. Up at the top I have my label headers. They're all in bold and of the same format. In contrast to the data below, that is not in bold, but still all the data is of the same format. So because it can tell that, it automatically selects it for me, which makes it really nice. Now if it doesn't select it for you, then you see where it says list range? Click on that collapse dialog box button course when you click it it collapses and then click and drag and select your database. When you're done click on the expand button to pull it back. Next we need to define what the criteria range is, what sets the rules to pull out what we need from the database and as you recall I'm going to use these scroll bars to go up and the scroll bar to go over because I don't want to accidentally click in another cell and mess up my list range. I'm going to click on the Collapse Dialog Box button for Criteria Range. Say that really fast, Collapse Dialog Box button. Anyways, I'm going to click and drag and select the range that includes the headers and the criteria listed below it. Click to expand, and then I can click OK. But before I do that, I can check the box Unique Records Only, which means if there was a, a bunch of homes that had the exact same criteria, like bedroom square footage, I can say, look, I just want to see one and check the unique records only box. But that's not likely to happen in my database, so I'll leave it unchecked and click OK. Automatically, you can see over to the left hand side, it filters and it pulls in just one that meets that criteria, which is the bedroom at Sleepy Place 3, and it's under $175,000. So I'd tell the client, look, we just have one under $175,000, and it's going to go fast. When I'm finished, I can go back to the data menu down to filter and then over and down and select show all and everything comes back including the criteria I typed in. And then of course do the same thing. Maybe they're looking at a four bedroom and that's all they care about is a four bedroom that has maybe one bath. And then I can scroll back and as you can see that we don't have an exact match just by looking at my database it's so simple to look at. But nonetheless you'd follow the same example, data to filter to advanced filter and then pull exactly what you need. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly and you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me, so for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free, and for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.